What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video I'll be showing you step by step on how to draw Sprout from Brawl Stars. Let's get started in the center of our page with the tape. Right in the center we start with a point. From here we're going to angle down and out towards the left and right side. And then from the bottoms we're going to angle up and out towards the top. Now let's come down the sides with a straight line. And we'll take this top and flip it over along the bottom. So from the corners we're going to angle up and in and it will come down and in towards the center point. And then we'll tuck the paper face in behind the tape. Starting on the left side, we're gonna start with a straight line going out. And then we'll line this up on the right side and draw a slightly shorter line. And then we're gonna fold over the right corner, coming down with a short line, and then going back out. Now we're gonna connect the top and bottom with an angled line. Let's go over to the left side. From here, we're going to draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. We're going to fold the corner, come in with a straight line, and then come down. And then we'll connect the left and right side with an angled line. Now we're going to go back over towards the right, draw a straight line coming down. We just want to line this up with the bottom edge on the left, and then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's move back up and draw in the eyes. Starting over on the left, we're going to draw an oval. Coming around to the bottom, and back up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then we'll go in and fill the eyes in black. Then lining up with the bottom edge of the eyes, we're going to move to the center and draw a straight line going across for the mouth. Now we want to move down and draw the bottom edge of the head. Starting over on the left side, we're going to curve down in the middle. Then we'll just pull that back up on the right side. And then from the ends, we're going to draw a short line coming in. Let's trace out the inside edge. Starting back on the left, we're going to follow that same curve, coming down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. From the inside corner on the left, we're going to draw a curve that goes up, and then in behind the face. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing, curving out, and then down on the right. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to draw a circle tucked in behind the edge of the head, going up and then down. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing, curving around and pulling that back in. Let's add one more on the outside edge on the left, going up and then in behind the face. Let's draw that dome going around the head, starting back on the left, start by curving up and round up the top in the middle and we'll bring that down on the right side. Let's add the sprout in the center. Starting at the very top, start with a point. From here, we're gonna curve this out, down over the dome, and then down towards the top of the tape. Let's go back up to the top. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going up towards the right, and then down. And then we'll surround the stem with the leaf. On the left side, we're gonna step up, we curve out, and then pull that up. Line this up on the right, go up to the same height, now I connect the ends with a curve, going up in the middle, and we'll bring that back down on the right side. Let's move down and draw on the body. We're gonna start on the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line, coming down, go over towards the right, and draw that same length line. And then we'll connect the bottoms with a curve. Starting on the left, we'll come down, and pull that back up. Let's add some detail to the body. On the left side, we're going to step up, draw a curve. Tracing that same curve going across, and then back up on the right. Now stepping over towards the side, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down. Start on the left, then move over towards the right. Then we're going to add that symbol in the center of the body. We're going to start with a half circle, going up, and then down. Going back to the left side, we're going to curve out and then hook that back in. Do the same thing on the right side. 
Let's round out the inside. Let's curving this back out. Now going back to the left, I'm gonna go up and then hook that down towards the center. Go to the right, and we'll do the same thing. Then we're gonna add a button over on the right side. Starting at the top, let's draw a small circle. And then we're gonna tuck the tires in underneath the body. Leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down. Go to the right and draw that same length line. Now we're gonna move out and draw another line, coming down to the same height that we have on the inside. Let's connect the outside to the inside with a curve. Coming down and then up. And do the same thing on the right. Let's move back to the inside and draw the hinge for the wheel. On the left side, right up against the tire, curve in and then up underneath the body. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. I want to line this up on the outside of the tire and do the same thing. Going out and then pulling that straight up. Line this up on the right and going up. Now I'm going to move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the shoulders first. I'm going to start halfway down the side of the body. Right here we're going to curve up and then out. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Now I'm going to round out the shoulder. Going up and then in. Let's go back to the inside of the shoulder. We're going to curve out and then down towards the wrist. And then we're going to overlap the cuff on top of the arm. On the left side, I'm going to step in, draw a straight angle line going up and out. And the same thing on the right side. And then we're just going to flatten off the ends. Starting on the outside, we'll come down and out with an angle. Do the same thing on the inside. And we'll close off the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then from the top corner of the shoulder, we're going to step in and just round out the arm. Just tucking that in behind the cuff. And do the same thing on the right side. And we'll add a couple lines inside the arm. Stepping up, curve in and then down. Step up and draw that one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then we'll draw the hands in underneath the cuff. Starting on the left side, we step in, draw a half circle. Just going around, and then back up on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add a hinge in the center. We'll draw a half circle, going around, and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right. And then we'll separate the left and right side of the hand. So we're going to start in the center, draw a straight line going up, aiming towards that hinge. Now from here, I just want to curve out and up in behind the hinge on the left and then on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with that angled line, curve in and then up, go back down, curve out the right side. And that's pretty much it. There's Sprout from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.